Welcome back to Photoshop Skills. My name is Gerald and in this video I will show you how to change body shapes of images with complicated backgrounds using the Liquify tool. So let's begin. Now I know it's not really right to be changing body shapes but I made this video just for study purposes. Yeah, so let's keep learning. First let's make a duplicate of our background layer and convert it into a smart object. So press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard, then right click on the new layer and convert to smart object. Then click filter, then click liquify. Pick the freeze mask brush and paint on the areas that you don't want the effects to be applied on. Use the square brackets to change the size of the brush. So I don't want these areas to be affected. Then pick your forward warp tool and increase the pressure to around 50% and density to around 50%. Make the size of the brush slightly bigger than the area that you want to adjust. Then start nudging it slowly. Don't worry so much about the distortion that is happening on this part of the background. I will show you how to fix that. Now let's reduce the size of the brush and adjust this area. Then let's adjust here a bit. Yeah, I think this will do for now. Then go ahead and click OK. Take a look at the before and after. Now, the reason why it's recommended to use smart objects when you are using Liquify is that you can always come here and double click. So you can see this is where we stopped and if you want to add more changes like let's say this part of the cloth i can pick my forward warp tool decrease the size then i nudge this in a bit yeah so you are not going to be able to do this if you are not using a smart object and click ok now, as you can see, our background is distorted, especially around here. Yeah, especially around here. So, to fix that, grab your pen tool. Make a rough selection around the distorted area. Then right click and click on make selection. Feather radius of one is okay. Then click okay. So now we have made a, a rough selection around the distorted area. So click on the new layers icon to create a new layer. Then grab your clone stamp tool. The shortcut is S. Now what we are going to do is to sample the areas that are okay and we paint it in the distorted areas to make it look real. So to sample, press and hold the ALT key and click once just to make a sample. Then start painting. And you can take the sample again. So you can see it's, it's fixing the distorted area. Take another sample. 
let's sample here too and while you are sampling you can look at that small cross that is where the sample is being taken from so for example if i overdo it like here you can see then the pole is being sampled so let me undo this and you can always feel free to sample from any part of the entire image you can even come and sample from somewhere here and you paint it in then let's sample somewhere here this is too much yeah just like that now to deselect just press ctrl plus d you can see the before and the after so we fixed our issue using the clone stamp now let's take a look at our second example always keep in mind that before you start using the liquify tool make sure you turn your image to a smart object keep that in mind and always make a duplicate so that you work non-destructively so press ctrl plus j to duplicate this layer and right click and convert to smart object then click on filter and click liquify by the way if you want an in-depth tutorial about the liquify tool go ahead and check the link in the description so pick your forward warp tool and use a pressure of around 50 and density of around 50 then increase the size of your brush and start nudging just make slight changes you don't make big changes at once and this side i think this will do for now and let's also push this area and then grab the block tool increase the size yeah and we add a little bit of bloat here yeah i think we overdid around here so go back to the warp tool increase the size and let's match this in a bit yeah something like this then go ahead and click ok so this is the before and this is the after now take note of this when you use liquify to make things bigger you don't need the clone stamp to fix the distortion on the background you can just use a layer mask and you paint away the distorted areas like for this example to fix the distortion on the background we can just create a layer mask so click on the layer mask button and make sure your foreground color is black then pick a brush tool with the opacity of 100 and flow of 100 Then just brush around the distorted area. In case you over brush like this, you can just press X to change the foreground color to white and you paint it back. So look at the before and look at the after. So that will be all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification so that next time you don't miss out. Thank you for watching.